I think Io is a person who uh, really wants to be a better person. And I think that that's a little different than some of the characters I've played who are pretty happy where they are, especially Sue Sylvester. She kind of likes where she is and likes who she is. I think um, Io really knows that on the other side of her anger is a, is a better life and she has to, and through Doc, she just has to keep reminding herself of that. Io is much bigger than everybody, um, almost gorilla-like, and her arms almost touch the ground, um, and big old fat eye right in the center. Um, of her head and um, she kind of is hunched over and always ready to attack. But she's learning, you know, through Doc's help, she's learning how to control her anger and express herself in, in ways other than throwing someone across the room or threat getting right up into someone's face and threatening them, which she tends to do. That tends to be her first instinct. Gary feels horrible that he abandoned his brother, and that's how he feels it. He, he was not in mission control when his brother, you know, was blinded by the lights of the 7-Eleven. And um, uh, he, uh, you know, uh, he, he feels absolutely compelled to save his brother. So it's, you know, it's a message about family and how we, you know, we support each other. And the, and the family he adopts in the, in the prison cell, um, how we support each other and we'll do anything to um, save each other. Of course, it's not Scorch's journey, it's Gary's journey, played by Rob, and um, he's let his brother down, or at least that's how he sees it, and he has to go into a very dangerous place to save him, and also he ends up uh, uh, winning the respect of his son, who heretofore didn't have much for his dad and really thought that Uncle Scorch was, you know, the guy, and, um, and of course Gary becomes the hero. He's kind of a reluctant hero, but he becomes the hero by the end of this movie. I love the fact that I don't have to put on the makeup and that it's already done. And um, I, I, I think it's just, a, that's the wonderful thing of animation is that you can be anyone and go anywhere and um, you provide the voice for it. I think it's so much fun. I, I love being able to go uh, to movies, especially animated movies, because I have a 10 year old um, daughter that have something to offer me <laughs> and where I'm laughing and enjoying and invested in the story. And that's definitely the case with this movie. It, it fires on all cylinders for all ages. So parents will have a great time bringing their kids. They won't be snoozing through it. It'll be a lot of fun for everybody.